Texas. Right now at noon, a worker from Miami-Dade County is recovering after she was attacked by two American Bulldogs in Little Havana. And it was all caught on camera. Local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly is live with reaction from the dog's owner. Trent? Yeah, some really scary moments for that court services worker yesterday who was trying to serve an eviction notice at a home in Little Havana when she came under attack by those two dogs. That worker having to be rushed here to ride her trauma uh, with bites to her ear as well as her back. Now we're seeing surveillance video showing the moment those two bulldogs started to move in. I hear the lady screaming, so I came out, but when I came, it was all the cops and the rescue and everything. Two dogs going on the attack outside a little Havana home, leaving a Miami-Dade court services worker bloodied and in the hospital. Surveillance footage shows the worker walking up to serve an eviction notice Tuesday morning and then going inside the front gate. After briefly cutting out, the footage later shows the same worker falling to the ground as a pair of dogs pounce. That's when another woman who came from inside the house grabs a traffic cone to try and fend them off. The injured worker scrambling to safety inside her work car as the two dogs bolt back to their yard. This man identifying himself as the owner, defending his dogs, saying the worker should have used the mailbox outside the gate instead of going into their yard. He also claims she did not latch the gate when she left, allowing the dogs to run outside when the owners came out to retrieve the letter. She opened it, she went inside, she put it and then she went back out and I don't think she closed this, right? for the gate and then that's that's when that's when it happened I think. animal control workers taking photos of the two american bulldogs <laughs> who according to officials were properly registered with the county the dog's owners later helping to load them into an animal services truck as they will now be quarantined for the next 10 days as part of an investigation and miami-dade police tell us uh, those dogs, uh, again, are now being quarantined by animal services as part of that investigation, which is still underway. By the way, they say the owner of those dogs will not face any criminal charges as a result, but it's still unclear as to whether he will face any fines or citations from animal services. We, of course, will stay on top of this and we'll keep you updated. For now, that is the latest live from JMH in Miami. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.